Hello and welcome to this video about hyperbolas. A hyperbola is formed by the intersection of a cone with an oblique plane that intersect the base. So here is a cone and an oblique plane. When you intersect that, you get this curve here and another curve right here. And these curves are called branches. Uh, the points in here where the distance is minimum the distance right here is minimum between the two curves are called vertices so you have one vertex here and here and the midpoint between these vertices right here in the center is called the center of the uh, hyperbola uh, we've seen before ellipses and although ellipses and hyperbolas have a complete different shape their definitions and equations are similar instead of using the sum of distances from uh, two uh, fixed foci as in the case of an ellipse we use the difference to def uh, define the hyperbola and here is geometric definition of hyperbola a hyperbola is a set of all points in the plane, the difference of whose distance from two fixed points F1 and F2 is constant. So these are focus and another focus, so the, the two foci. So the distance between F1 and P, and P can be any point on this curve here, or branch. So this distance here, I'll call it maybe D1. And this distance here from P to F2 to the other focus, call it D2. So is the, the difference is a fixed, is a constant. And so we make this constant equal to plus or minus 2A because it depends sometimes F D1, this distance between F1 and P will be smaller than the distance from F2 and P. So here is the um, how we derive the equation of the ellipse. So, by definition, if P lays on a hyperbola, then either the distance from P to F1 minus P to F2 equal plus or minus 2A. And using the distance formula, we get square root of X plus C, uh, quantity squared plus Y squared, minus square root of X minus C, quantity squared plus Y squared equal plus or minus 2A. And then we simplify it. And uh, to get uh, to this uh, form, x squared over x squared minus y squared over b squared equal to 1. And where we did, where we get b, b squared is c squared minus a squared. We just said b squared equals c squared minus a squared once we simplify this equation. And so where, where is this equation has to do with the graph? So here we have... Uh, equation and graph of hyperbolas and uh, let's see an overall so the main properties of hyperbolas are listed here so you have either horizontal transverse axis and what does it mean it means that it opens toward the x-axis it's horizontally it opens horizontally or vertical transverse axis where it opens uh, vertically up and down or left and right so how do we know the difference we know from the equation you see because the equation has a minus in between here if the x squared comes first then it's going to open toward the x axis or its horizontal transfer axis if y squared comes first then it's going to open up and down and so it will be uh, this way and that way so and then that's how we know how it opens then whatever comes under the x that is the distance here called a a square if it opens toward the x-axis and the a will be right here if it opens toward uh, the y-axis the b you just find what goes under y is b so you cho you find the b in this case b is here and which is under the y and x is under a is under the x that's value of a is under the x and value of y is under the y in this case and the other case is here again what's under y that will be the a and under the x is a b 
So from the uh, equation, it's easy to graph uh, hyperbolas. First thing I pay attention to is which one comes first. Is it x squared or y squared? Because I want to have an, uh, uh, an idea. Does it open left, right, or up and down? Once we know that, then you have to uh, just find under x is a squared. You square root that, and you'll find on the x-axis that value. And then under the y, you find that value you 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 uh, will be b. Then you make the box. You make this box because a is here, b is here. You make the box. You connect the diagonal line, which is the asymptote of the hyperbola. And then you draw the, your hyperbola. Again, either open, up, down, or left, right. And this is where the center is at the origin. If the center is not at the origin, the equation will be x minus h quantity square, and then y minus k quantity square, and again in here will be over a square, b square equal to 1. This is where the uh, center is hk. Here the center is 0, 0 in our case here, is at the origin. And the same thing here, so we're going to have y minus k quantity square minus x minus h quantity square over a square over b square is equal to 1. And again here the center is hk. And later we're going to uh, see some examples and the graphing of hyperbolas. I hope this is helpful.